स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू द फर्स्ट रिविजन सेशन ऑफ साइंस सो वी हैड ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड द पोर्शन ऑफ द यूनिट टेस्ट सो यू नो दैट देर आर टोटल टू लेसन्स विच आर देर फॉर योर यूनिट टेस्ट द लेसन नंबर वन दैट इज नैचुरल रिसोर्सेस एयर वॉटर एंड लैंड एंड द सेकेंड लेसन विच इज देर फॉर योर यूनिट टेस्ट दैट इज न्यूट्रिशन एंड अवर डाइट सो फ्रॉम दीज टू टॉपिक total 20 marks objectives are going to come for unit test so it will be totally objective type of questions you know that true or false filling the blanks answer in one word label the diagram all that thing it is going to come okay so be prepared for that so before uh, uh, i'll tell you what kind of questions will be there for your exam uh, before that let's revise once again little bit part of the natural resources uh, air and water and land so that it will be easier for us to solve the uh, fill up and the true or false which are based upon that okay so let's uh, go ahead with a quick recall of this topic okay so now basically students what we have learnt we had already learnt that what do you mean by natural resources so what is the basically natural resources students whatever things which we get from the nature whatever things which we get from the nature we call it as what natural resources am i right so what are the things which we get from the nature air water and land these are the important component of the environment am i right and these important component they are very important for survival purpose so they fulfill our basic needs as well correct so these things we call it as what natural resources so these we call it as what natural resources so what are the natural resources basically air water and land they are the natural resources understood now what is the meaning of natural resources you know that in the nature in the earth basically there are three spheres which are present am i right what are the three sphere which are present on this earth yeah you can see here in this diagram what you can see here in this diagram atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere i repeat once again atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere these are the three spheres which are present on this earth so you have to remember the definition of all these three things for your exam so what is the meaning of the atmosphere atmosphere means what the part of the air the part of the air which is present around the earth that we call it as what atmosphere correct hydrosphere hydro hydro means what water hydro means what water so whatever the part of the water it is covered by uh, covered on the earth it is called as what hydrosphere what is a lithosphere litho means what land means soil the part of the earth which is covered by the land we call it as what lithosphere got it for your better understanding i have written the definition as well so it will be easier for you to note down and recall all the definitions so these are the three definition we have already learnt in the previous session as well so what is the atmosphere repeat the definition with me students the layer of air that surrounds the earth repeat once again the layer of air that surrounds the earth it is called as atmosphere got it the layer of the air that is surrounds the earth we call it as what atmosphere what is hydrosphere the surface of the earth that comprises of water what is hydrosphere the surface of the earth that comprises of water we call it as what hydrosphere what is lithosphere the surface of the earth that comprises of land we call it as what lithosphere got it so i hope so you must have understood all the three definitions in very well okay now you know that student majority part of the earth it is covered by the water okay majority part of the earth it is covered by what water what is the percentage of the water it is covered on the earth 71% remember this percentage 71% 71% of the earth it is covered by the water and remaining 29% of the earth it is just the land piece of land got it i repeat once again 71% of the earth it is a part of the water and 29% of the earth it is just a piece of a land understood now 
although 71 percent of the earth it is covered by water that doesn't mean that this whole water is drinkable no because as you can see that over here out of 71 percent of the water which is available on the earth 97 percent of the water is sea water and the ocean water which is salty water which we cannot drink or which we cannot use for our household chorus also which is not drinkable okay so that is useless totally you can see that over here again you can see that 2.7 percent of the uh, 2.7 percent of water which is available on earth it is completely ground water which is in the form of ice even that is not available so hardly you can see that for drinking purpose only 0.03 percent of water is available how much percentage of water is available for drinking 0.03 percentage got it so i hope so you can see that majority part of the water it is present uh, in the sea and the ocean and only little bit water it is available for drinking purpose got it now what i want to tell you over here and one more thing students let me tell you that air is a mixture of the gases as you can see that over here okay there are many type of the gases which are present in the air like you can see that nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide hydrogen argon so there are many variety of the gases which are present in the air but let me tell you out of many gases 78 percent of the air is occupied by nitrogen how much percentage of nitrogen is present in the air 78 nitrogen in air is 78 oxygen in the air it is 21 percent and the carbon dioxide which is present in the air is 0.03 percent got it so this is a mixture of the gases which is present in the air so i hope so students little bit part whatever i have discussed right now you must have understood that so let's revise uh, once again uh, these are the type this is the type of the question which we are going to ask you in the exam so this is just an example which i have displayed in front of you so this type of uh, four option we are going to display in front of you as you can see that over here so out of the four option you have to select the correct option you don't have to type anything you have to read the question correctly and you have to click on the correct option that's all understood so read the question students what is it is given the percentage of water on earth is what is the percentage of water on earth how many options are there four maybe sometime you will be provided with four option two option or three option but you have to select only one correct option got it so now what they had asked you the percentage of water on the earth so what is option a 78 option b 29 option c 71 option d 21 now what is the correct option student can you guess what is the percentage of water on the earth we just discussed right now am i right so how much percentage of water it is present in the uh, earth any guesses yeah you all are correct so total percentage of the water which is present on the earth is 71 percent right so where it is option it's there in the c so you have to click on the c option like this got it now so like this you have to click on the correct option got it now so i hope so likewise there will be many filling fill ups you have to click on the right option so this is the type of the filling the blanks which will be there for your exam got it now shall we go ahead now now again there will be true or false type of question for your examination as you can see that over here so even true or false you don't have to type anything again there will be a and b option you have to just click on whatever you feel if you feel it is true click on the true if you feel that option is false or the statement is false you have to click on the false button okay so now read the question air water land are not natural resources what they had said they are not natural resources and what we had just discussed right now air water and land they are natural resources am i right so whatever statement they had given it is true or false 
द गिवन स्टेटमेंट विच इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस राइट नाउ दैट इज फॉल्स एम आई राइट सो ए ऑप्शन इज राइट और बी ऑप्शन इज राइट राइट नाउ या वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट द फॉल्स ऑप्शन सो द फॉल्स ऑप्शन इट इज देयर ऑन द बी सो यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन द बी ऑप्शन लाइक दिस अंडरस्टूड ना वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू ओवर यर सो दीज आर द टाइप ऑफ द ट्रू और फॉल्स क्वेश्चन विच विल बी देयर फॉर योर एग्जाम ओके आफ्टर दैट सपोज अगेन इन योर एग्जाम ऑडमेन आउट क्वेश्चन विल बी देयर करेक्ट सो ऑडमेन आउट यू कैन सी दैट ओवर यर ऑडमेन आउट देर आर फोर ऑप्शन लेट सी वॉट इज ऑडमेन आउट दैट आस्क यू ओवर यर नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन वॉटर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट दी वन करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन वॉटर एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड आउट ऑफ दिस यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट दी वन ऑप्शन करेक्ट सो नाउ यू टेल मी वॉट विल बी द ऑड मैन आउट थिंक थिंक वॉट कुड बी द राइट ऑप्शन नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन वॉटर और कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड If you compare nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide, they all are gaseous state. They all are gases, right? What about the water? Water it is in the liquid form majoritily, correct? So nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide they are all in the gaseous state which are present in the air, correct? So remaining all are in the gaseous state and water it is in the liquid state. So what could be the right option? Water is the odd man out among all the four, correct? So, water it is there at the C place. So you have to click on the C option. So if you feel that C is the right option, you have to click on C. Got it? So likewise, wherever you feel that the option is A, B, C, D, you have to click on the right option. Got it now, student? So this is the type of the question, objective question. All are objective for your exam. so these objective type of question which are there for your uh, unit test as well as for your mock test also so i hope so now uh, i am very much clear with the uh, objective type of question which are going to ask you in your exam so i hope so you must have understood what i want to tell you exactly over here understood okay so now uh, see your students now let me tell you that one more thing you have to go through the uses of the gases also do not forget to learn the uses as well so here are certain uses of the gases as you know that go through that also for uh, nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide and many more so let's discuss once again what are the uses of all the gases over here so nitrogen so what is the use of the nitrogen students you can see that over here nitrogen helps living things to build the necessary proteins that means what we eat uh, egg we eat uh, pulses they are rich in protein am i right so the protein contains the nitrogen without nitrogen the protein has no value so that means the maximum part of the protein is occupied by the nitrogen that's why nitrogen is very important because it is necessary for what protein okay after that it is useful in the production of ammonia and in air tight packaging of the food stuff whatever air tight packaging is let's say normal even chips ka packet as well okay chips ka packet or whatever canned food etc we bring from the market etc so in that thing they fill up the uh, nitrogen gas for the food preservation purpose okay so that's why nitrogen gas is very very important uh, for our uses after that oxygen what is the use of oxygen students here as we have already discussed that oxygen is useful for respiration correct with the help of the photosynthesis plant use the carbon dioxide and they release the oxygen and all type of the living organism inhale the oxygen for the respiration and one more thing for combustion purpose also oxygen is required so for combustion and respiration i repeat once again keep that in your mind for respiration and for combustion who is required over here who is required over here respiration and combustion what is important over here oxygen is important oxygen is important for combustion as for as well as for the respiration purpose understood after that carbon dioxide you know that with the help of the carbon dioxide plant prepare their own food correct and let me tell you one more thing 
in the fire extinguisher carbon dioxide is used if you want to exhaust the fire in the fire extinguisher carbon dioxide gas is there so when fire extinguisher we on the carbon dioxide gas comes out and it extinguishes the fire immediately so this is a use of the carbon dioxide okay after that argon what is the use of the argon here argon is used in the electrical bulb in the electrical bulb argon is used helium uh, at uh, helium you can see that uh, it is used for the maintaining low temperature and again it is used in the generating the lift in the airship etc neon where we have used the neon uh, at home or during uh, you know diwali or decoration purpose etc we use the small small lamps decorative lamps so that decorative lamp contains the neon gas okay after that can you see the krypton over here this krypton gas it is used in the fluorescent tube and again this xenon is used in the flash photography so these are the certain gases which are present in the air and they are used for our betterment in the daily life okay so these are the certain gases which are displayed in front of you so students uh the part of the natural resources uh, air land and water uh, the little bit part we had completed now and uh, i told you what kind of questions will be there in your exam as well filling the blanks odd man out diagram or uh, whatever the things are there we have just discussed now so don't worry there will be options which will be given to you you have to just select the right option okay so we will continue our this lesson and the nutrition topic in the next revision lecture okay so for your mock test uh, wish you a very all the best do well bye take care